Hello guys, this is a tutorial, a workthrough tutorial questions um, based from the properties of plane areas, um, of course from Curtin University of Western Australia. Uh, the questions were done by Dr. Nazrul Islam from the Department of Mechanical Engineering and this is on the basis of Mechanical Design 238. Um, this is basically a worked through solutions of the basics behind Mechanical Design such as finding the centroid of uh, certain shapes and objects. What we will be mainly concentrating uh, as seen here is the centroid, the centroid bound between um, a function and certain limits uh, within a shaded area along an x of y axis or two axes along a two-dimensional plane. And the question we'll be looking at today is of course here given asking by integration method and this is very important the integration the integration method is being asked to use here determine the x and y coordinates of the centroid of the shaded area okay so let's get straight into it i'm using paint as the program to run through um, please excuse me for my bad handwriting now before we start any question like this we first want to just illustrate where exactly we're looking at in which um, boundaries we're looking at here. So the object given here, this, what we would want to start with is basically creating a um, like, okay sorry, just getting used to the program. Now what we want to start with here is just marking the centroid, okay, it's the approximation, and along the x-axis we have the x centroid and along the y axis we have the y centroid okay um, now what these actual these values actually um, equal to is as follows for the y corner um, you would have it bound between two functions so the first function the upper function is over here the lower function is over here okay so the y coordinate is basically the upper function y2 plus the lower function y1 divided by 2 where y1 in our case of course equals 0 and the x coordinate in our case now before we do this we want to just illustrate a small strip that is that is basically uh, bounding the centroid between the two strips, and these strips are of course parallel to the y-axis. And we will want to mark the x distance of the strip, and f in our case, this x distance is dx. Okay, so we would say that the x centroid, x, um, the centroidal distance along the x-axis is basically x, as illustrated here, distance x plus dx divided by 2 where in our case similar to before dx on 2 approximately equals 0 so it's it's negligible basically so you can get rid of it um, so getting started uh, before you do any um, again before you even jump into the uh, hard math part integration well basic math part we go we will want to find the um, the actual area of the shaded area before we start anything. So we know basic math from high school maths. The um, the formula um, that we would want to be using is dA differential of the area equals to the area bounded between two functions. And what did we mention before? The y2, y1 function. So it's the upper function the lower function okay so after that um, oops, sorry my bad I don't, yeah. there we go and the differential for x so that's just asking you to integrate to get rid of dx and the function the formula for the area is this the integral of the differential of area Okay, and the integral is bounded between two boundaries, so A and B, in our case, 1 and 2. 
Okay, so this would equal bounded between 1 and 2, dA, where y1 equals 0, if you can recall, and y2 is our actual function at the top. This equals 1 plus x cubed divided by 8 divided by, sorry, yep, divided by 8. Uh, whole thing, differential of x, and we integrate. Okay? Now, if you guys don't know how to integrate here, uh, it's basically, mo um, if it's a constant, you simply mo um, make it a variable by uh, implementing the variable of whatever you're trying to integrate for. So in our case, it's x, so you're going to integrate for x, so you're going to multiply the constant by x x plus, now you got e cubed power over there, so it's x cubed plus 1 divided by its new power. Okay, so what's 3 plus 1? 4 divided by 4 times 8, the whole thing bounded between 1 and 2. Okay, now moving on, you have to substitute the limits upper and lower where upper minus lower is what you're gonna have here upper and lower minus each other okay so 2 substitute the 2 into the x's here 2 plus 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4 times 8 which is 32 okay subtract now, um, as I said, upper, this is the upper area, okay? Subtract the lower. When I say area, I mean just the upper, um, upper limit substituted into this function, okay? So you're gonna lower substitute into here. It is one plus one to the power of four is just one divided by four times eight, 32. And quick, uh, math, that whole thing equals 47 over 32. The reason why I skipped that part is it's it's just the basic of the basic. Like, you don't want to be running through that now. Um, so the second part is we found the, the actual area of the sheeted area. Okay, so we found the sheeted area now. Now we actually have to find the physical centroidal values. So what do they actually equal? So along the x and y um, axes, how far do I have to go along the y or how far do I have to go along the x to reach the centroid C here? This is our target. Okay, that's what we want that's what we want to find. Okay? So initially we say that um, Let's just start with x. Thanks for Did you look mine? Yep. Sorry about the interruption. So as I was saying, so along the x coordinate, how far do I have to go? Here's a function that you would want to memorize again. QI divided by A. Hey, we just found A, right? Um, but QI, what is QI equal to? Now, let's just break this page break. QY equals, let's just do it up here, QY equals, now you got to remember this, the integral of X D A, okay? Now this is X bar. What is X bar equal to? Right here, guys. Right, this is X bar. Okay, don't forget that. Okay, now substitute x bar into this little function of ours that we just uh, written, wrote over there. dA, we know what dA equals to, right here given. This is what dA equals to, guys, don't forget. Okay, so bounded between two limits, so that's A and that's B. So that's bounded between 1 and 2, and you got your x going, so it's just simply x multiplied by 1 plus x cubed divided by 8, whole thing, dx, where qy equals to 